Welcome to the Southwest Spotlight. I'm JJ Tejeda, and today we're highlighting Supreme Dragon Aviation. With me today, I have the aviation production instructor, Mr. Rodolfo Irby. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good. Thank you for coming. So, I hear this is an amazing program we have going on throughout our district. Can you tell me a little bit about exactly what all this is? Yeah, so this, this actually started as a partnership between the D. Howard Foundation and the Southwest Independent School District. And in partnership, they decided that they wanted to come up with a program where we could introduce kids to aviation, you know, from kindergarten all the way through high school. And it's a really good program because there's a really big need for, for this um, in careers and pilot, becoming a pilot, um, becoming an aeronautical engineer, aerospace engineer. Um, and so we wanted to give the kids a little introduction to what that's like at the high school level. So this is what we ended up with. Well, right now I see a bunch of blue parts. Can you yeah. tell me what exactly is going on here? Sure, so the, the class, because it's a broad introduction to everything about aviation, we've got a part of the class where we work on learning all the basics of flight, flight controls, the safety of flight, um, how that works. And then we also take time to do a build of a Vans RV-12 IS. It's a kit plane where they send us different parts of the sheet metal and then the kids learn about all the introductory sheet metal work they'd have to do for an AMP certification and so they, they get all these pieces and they have to finish them um, make sure that they're ready to be put onto the plane and right now in the back you see that we have the empennage mostly completed um, so this is the back half of the plane and the kids right now are working on the wing spars which will be the wing of the plane and then they'll do the fuselage and the engine next year and we also have a third component to the class where we have kids who are working on flight simulators um, so they can actually get experience with how they would um, learn to become a pilot. So. so this seems to be an amazing just program going on in our district. Tell me how it's been in the community. How has the community reacted to all this? Yeah, so I think, you know, as we've gotten through the, the, the plane build, we've invited um, people in the community, the, the board members, district to come in and see. And as specifically, you know, at the beginning we just had a big box that we opened up and this big box had all these parts and you know, they, you, it's hard to visualize what it's going to look like. But, um, you know, I think the parents were super impressed when they actually got to see what the kids have done. And this is all the kids work. Um, mentors show them how to do things, but they are very big on the kids doing all the stuff. So this is 100% um, kid work and you know just having them facilitate that with them but you know at our, our first coming back to open our next box which was the wing set um, the parents were super impressed obviously and for a lot of these kids this has been a, a thing that's you know made them decide they want to take a career in aviation we have kids who had never flown before we've taken them on field trips through the EAA partnership we have and so these are kids who initially you know didn't think they'd want to do this but now they want to be pilots you know they want to work and get their AMP certification to build planes. So, you know, for some of them, this could be something that defines a whole change in what they do. So it looks like they have a lot of options going into this program. Mm -hmm. So obviously, and not just a pilot, a lot of things go into this. So mm -hmm. what other pathways could they take to after this program? Yeah, so our, our goal is to set up partnerships and hopefully get these kids to get future certifications so they could be a mechanic um, or if they want to be a pilot, they could do that. And then, you know, we even have one student who wants to be an aerospace engineer. Right now the program has 9th through 12th graders because we wanted to open it up to have everyone who could come in. Um, but next year we're going to have it to where we have an introductory freshman class and they'll learn all the basics of sheet metal, they'll get an in-house certification, and then they can actually do stuff on the plane and build that we start next year. So. Okay, well you're saying incoming freshmen, so what a, if I wanted to be a part of this program coming up as a freshman, what, what would I have to do? Well, once you sign up for the class, the good thing is that we have all this mentorship um, from the EAA. These are, these are people who used to work on planes themselves. We have a person who can actually sign off on the um, plane and certify that it's good. And so when you come in as a freshman, you don't need to know anything. We'll just make sure that we get you all the training you need to know. And, and being exposed to this stuff will make it to where when you actually take these courses in college and you get your associates or you want to get your certification, you'll have seen all the vocabulary, you'll have seen all the parts, and it's going to be something that's very fluid transition for you. Nice. Okay, so what's the overall goal after this whole plane's put together? What happens? We just display it somewhere? Or what's, what's no, we absolutely want to fly it and we want to have our kids fly it. We'll actually have a student who starts their private pilot certification um, this year, so hopefully he'll have his license next year. Um, you know, that's a, it's very expensive. We actually, he actually got a scholarship, a $10,000 scholarship, so he'll, he'll be able to fly planes and um, on his own, 
which is really neat, you know, as a high school student. Um, so that, that's the goal is to fly it and get kids. Uh, the district will own this plane, so we're going to try to get the kids to have as much opportunity to fly in it as possible. Okay, well, anything else you want to touch on going into this program? Maybe somebody who's maybe on the fence that wants to come in. What's something that can just you make them want to jump into this program? Yeah, you know, the, the unique thing about our program that, that I haven't said yet is that it's the only thing in the state of Texas like it. There's no other program in the state of Texas where you get introductory level um, information about aviation, but that you also get to build a plane and you get to get ground school and learn how to fly. There's really no other program like this in, in the state of Texas, maybe even the nation. So um, it's a really unique opportunity. And, um, you know, I think going back in high school, if I had this opportunity, it's something that I would have taken. And maybe I would have been a pilot instead of a teacher. I don't know. So, so okay, tell me the, 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 the date that we're planning to fly this plane. Yeah, the goal is that we have it finished by the end of next year. So, um, and we're, we've been on target with all of our goals. We've been taking our time, uh, making sure that everything's done right. Um, so, so we, we put a, a really, um, you know, long date there to make sure that we get everything done correctly. But um, hopefully by the end of next year, we'll have, we'll have the plane set up. Awesome. Well, it looks like great things are happening in the near future here at Southwest. So make sure you stay on the lookout for that. Thank you for watching the Southwest Spotlight. For more stories, videos, and other SWISD TV productions, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. We are Southwest.